Okay, I don't really know why, but for some reason, I bought a Chromebook. Uh, okay, so this is um, actually the same exact, well, I don't know if it's the same exact, but pretty similar model Chromebook that I got my mom for Christmas uh, a couple years ago, Christmas 2017. And I gotta say, uh, she's used this uh, Chromebook since then, and she has never had a single problem with it. In fact, it's the first computer I ever got her. I've tried a lot of different computers, tablets, computer devices with her, and every one was something that she just couldn't figure out. She ran into problems, she'd constantly bother me, you know, what's this, what's that. She'd click on weird things and she'd do God knows what to the computer somehow. Uh, <laughs> but I gotta say, a Chromebook ended up being an amazing choice for her, and as she's had it for a almost a couple years now and she's had no problems. So I came across uh, this Chromebook, like I said, it's pretty much the same model as what she has, maybe a slightly revised one, a little bit newer, um, Best Buy, on sale for $139, and I figured, why not, I'll buy it just to mess around with. So I'll show you the specs of this, uh, be prepared to not be impressed. <laughs> So it's a Dell Inspiron 11 3000 series. Uh, 3181 is the model. I think the one I got my mom a couple years ago was a 3180. So I guess this is a slightly newer model. I don't know what changed, if anything, but um, anyway, the screen, I'll tell you right now, it's uh, not very impressive. They call it a 11.6 inch HD, but if it looks anything like the one that I got my mom, it's uh, it's, it's it's not great. It's definitely the weaker point of the Chromebook. Um, and it's not touch, not at this price. Um, you get an Intel Celeron N3060 processor. So this is not an uh, ARM-based Chromebook. This is an Intel-based Chromebook, and that might be useful for um, a little more compatibility with installing Linux distros, because I do plan on installing Linux on this. That's one of the main reasons I bought this. And this model does have 4 gigs of RAM, which is honestly plenty for a Chromebook. And 32 gigs of eMMC flash. I could have went with 16 gigs. That's actually the size of the one that I got for my mom. And that one was on sale at Best Buy for $119. But for $139, I figured for $20 bucks more, it's probably worth it to go with a 32. Uh, because, like I said, I do want to install maybe Linux and dual boots, so that could take up more space. And yeah, so obviously, Chrome OS, mm, wireless, all that good stuff. So yeah, so the Dell Inspiron uh, 3000 series. I gotta say, it's not the prettiest Chromebook, but it is super durable and it's held up well. Uh, the, my mom had hers and like I said, no problems with it at all. Um, this would be a great Chromebook to buy for the classroom, for a kid. I was just really impressed. It, it, it's, it's you know, like I said, it's kind of chunky. It doesn't have the best display, but it holds up well. And um, really cheap, especially at the sell price. Like I said, I got mine, this 32 gig model for 139 at Best Buy. That's an $80 discount um, to what it normally is. Um, both this one and the $119 uh, 16 gig model were on sale for $80 off. So I figured I'd, I'd pick one up. Okay, so open up the box. The first thing you're greeted by is, we're here to help. Aw, thanks, Dell. I really needed to hear that from someone, even if it's just a computer box. Anyway, here is the Chromebook in here. Sort of wrapped like a cellophane. Obviously, you don't expect an Apple-like presentation. This is a sub-$200 Chromebook. There it is. Dell. These little cardboard do hit me on the side. And there it is. Power cable, AC adapter, and documentation and whatnot. giant silica packet. That's fun. And that's about it. Yeah, obviously pretty basic. <laughs> and here it is. The Inspiron 3000 series Chromebook. 
Nice little 11.6 inch Chromebook. Here it is, stacked up with a um, Dell Latitude, with a Dell Latitude 14 inch business laptop. And here's a Chromebook. Obviously, you can see it's a good bit smaller and a lot thinner. Honestly, not a huge bit thinner. Like I said, this is kind of on the chunky side for a Chromebook. So there's the Chromebook, there's the Dell Latitude. So it's, yeah, it's thinner, but not a, it's still a little chunky for a Chromebook, but hey, it's durable. If this is being used in a classroom, if this is being used wherever Chromebooks are used, it's, uh, it's gonna have to take a beating. Like I said, my mom had hers for almost a couple years now and it's been holding up fine. So yeah, definitely a solid, durable Chromebook. Get nice rubberized, it's like a rubberized uh, strip that goes across the length of the whole thing on the front and sides and back. Um, it's like a rubberized texture there. So, no, I, that's the first, the, even when I bought the one for my mom, from the start, I was really impressed with, for how cheap this was, how nice and durable the Chromebook felt. Um, so yeah, ports, that's where your power goes. That's where your SD card expansion goes. HDMI, a couple of USB ports. Nothing there. And you just have your headphone jack. And not sure what that is. Is it like a lock slot? Maybe. Not sure what that is. Can't tell. And yeah. But there it is. I guess I'll open it up. Opened it up. Let's see, I can't remember if this one turns on automatically when you open it. Maybe not. Then I'll press the power button. Assuming it has a charge. You can see it is an Intel Chromebook. Track pen and keyboard feel pretty solid. That's a I, I've always liked with my mom's is it has a nice feeling trackpad and keyboard. Like I said, for a under two hundred dollar Chromebook on sale, and when it's not on sale, it's um I think it's like one ninety nine is the normal price for the sixteen gig model. Um, it's still a good price. Um, I think when I bought my mom's in twenty seventeen, it was like two I think two. 30 something for it, so went down in price since then. Do I have the press and hold? So, this isn't one to turn on. Might not have a charge out of the box. It's starting to look like that. Alright, so I think I'm going to have to plug this in. Okay, so I got it all plugged into power now. By turning it on again. There we go. Chrome. Looking at the screen here, trying to tell if it uh, went up in quality at all since the one that I got for my mom. Uh, it doesn't look terrible, but. It I probably have to look at them side by side to compare. All right, so obviously I got this thing all, have to get it all set up. So I will do that and then get back to you once I do that. Okay, so I put, on all, put in all my personal information. So um, you have to sign into Wi-Fi, you have to sign into your Google account and all that great stuff. You have to click approve and accept all the things saying that you give permission to Google to spy on you. Uh, <laughs> And uh, once you do that, it brings you to your desktop. A little thing popped up and said, uh, do you want to take a tour? And I said, yeah, sure, because why not? All right, so it's telling me, get my apps fast. Use the launcher to quickly get a new ass, blah, blah, blah. Okay, what else can I do? All right. Okay, check your Chromebook status, that's fun. 
Okay. Make it your own. Because it's talking about installing new apps and whatnot. Okay, so basically, yeah, I'm not going to do like a full review of Chrome OS. I mean, it's. You know, it is what it is. It, it's glorified Google Chrome, only it's a little bit more than that now because it, you know, now you have the Play Store. So basically, it's um, Android. Um, it's another variant of Linux. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's good for a lot of things. Not for everybody, not for a main computer, at least not for me. Uh, I mean, Chromebooks are a sensation in K through 12 education. Almost every school district is moving to Chromebooks. Um, pretty soon, we're going to have generations of kids who really aren't even familiar with Mac or Windows uh, because they will have just used so much of Chrome OS. Um, yeah, Chromebooks are gaining a ridiculous traction. They're a huge thing right now with schools. Um, so obviously in schools, K through 12, Chromebooks, um, they're very practical computers. They're very practical for, well, like I said, my mom. For anyone who just needs a simple device that um, you can browse the web on, maybe run some apps. Um, they're, I think they're really solid for what they are. Yeah, they're not going to replace gaming computers, not going to replace Macs for people who want MacBooks, not going to replace high-end Windows laptops. Now, obviously, there's a lot of things they can't do, but, I mean, there are a lot of things they can do, and I think there's a lot of people that could get by with a Chromebook as well, their main computer. Like I said, for something to just play around with, I mean, this cost $139, and uh, it's a... This Dell Inspiron 3000 series Chromebook, I would highly recommend them because for the price, I think you get a really solid Chromebook. Like I said, my mom, I got her one almost two years ago for Christmas. It's still holding up perfectly fine today. She hasn't any problems with it physically or software-wise. Chrome OS is pretty autonomous. It takes care of itself. It updates itself. So you don't have to worry about viruses. You don't have to worry about things getting out of date and insecure. Like I said, it's great for someone like my mom who's pretty computer illiterate. Um, I really couldn't be happier with it for for that purpose for it being her computer she has had no problems with it and yeah like i said for the price this is a solid little chromebook i plan on just you know mess around with it just familiarize myself with chrome os because i really haven't used it that much i plan on running some uh, linux on here alongside chrome on it, chrome os um maybe installing some android apps yeah just um it's a cheap solid little computer and if the one that I got from my mom is any, in any indication, it should hold up pretty darn well. So it's pretty impressive for what it is. I mean, I I do really love Dell products, and I think uh, they make a pretty solid little Chromebook. Like I said, it's not the flashiest, not the thinnest or lightest. The screen isn't too great. It's just a TN panel that has pretty poor off-axis viewing. It's not touchscreen, but... It's a sturdy little, rugged little Chromebook, and for a really good price. So if you're looking for a Chromebook just to mess around with, have some fun with, like I said, it's Intel-based, so I feel like there's a lot more Linux distros compatible with Intel as opposed to ARM. Uh, although there are a lot for ARM, too, but still, I think the um, Dell Inspiron 3000 series is a great choice for a cheap Chromebook that you just want to mess around with and have some fun. I think it's great for students in K through 12 education. And I think it'd be great for parents or anyone who uh, isn't very good with computers or just wants a really simplified um, computer using experience. I mean, yeah, my biggest <laughs> concern would be, yeah, it's, it's Google and um, of course they do some things that might not be so, so great as far as security and collecting data and whatnot, but yeah, that's the price you pay, you get, I guess. But yeah, so I would recommend one of these. And you can play games on here. Um, at least Android games. I downloaded from the Play Store Asphalt 8 Racing. It actually runs quite well. It looks fine. There's not really frame drops. So not bad.
So I will say these days with um, you know, Google Play Store and Android integration, Chromebooks are more useful than they have ever been. Um, now, if you are going to be using something like this as your main computer, uh, you probably would be better off spending a couple hundred dollars more and getting something, you know, a little bit nicer. You know, a touch screen would be nice with higher resolution. Um, and this mm, keyboard and trackpad is okay. Maybe it's not quite as good as I thought it was after I've been using it for a while, but it's okay. I've definitely used worse. Um, but like I said, if you just want something very basic, um, that gives you the Chrome OS experience, and of course you can run Linux on here and then do that kind of stuff too. This uh, it's run 3000 series is is a great choice, especially for someone who's uh, computer illiterate. Um, it holds up well, and uh, it doesn't have any major problems even after a couple years. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put Linux on my computer, so. After a little bit of research, I found that the best way to put Linux on a Chromebook is by using a, um, a little utility called Crouton. So if you just search uh, Crouton for Chromebook, search that and, and you'll find um, instructions on how to go about setting up Crouton and run Linux on your system. The first step is putting the Chromebook into developer mode. I'm just waiting for that process to complete. And doing this does erase all your local locally stored content. So obviously this is new, so I didn't really have anything other than a few things I was testing, but it'll erase everything you have. So back it up if you have stuff on there you need. And as you can see, I've got my Ubuntu going on the Chromebook, running inside of Crouton with a little keyboard shortcut. I can seamlessly switch back and forth between Chrome OS and Linux. There I am back in the Linux. So yeah, uh, Crouton is definitely cool. If you get a Chromebook, it's a fun thing to mess around with if you would like to use Linux.